Hi, I'm Robin Rose Bennett, and I'm about to take a walk in the beautiful woods in the northeast part of the U.S. Come, take a walk with me. Let's see what we find. Oh, huh. Finding um, a clump of sassafras leaves alerts me to the fact that there are some sassafras trees nearby. So now I know I'll keep a lookout for them because this is one of my very favorite herbs to harvest at this time of year. We have um, the wintergreen plant here, which is also called tea berry and checkerberry. And it gets little red berries. We may see some later at another plant. Um, it grows close to the ground like this always. And if you taste this, it is a, um, a wonderful burst of wintergreen flavor. Mmm. Oh. Delicious. By the way, because there's lots of little green leathery plants on the forest floor, what you ought to do is you break up the leaf, and when you break up herbs, you do it really well. You break this up, and then you'll hold this to your nose, and if it's wintergreen, it's going to smell like wintergreen. There won't be any question. some things to look at here. Have you ever heard of a plant called Indian pipe? Mm, it's very unusual. It's all white, not green. This is such a special plant. I want to put down a little bit of lavender and gratitude. We don't usually find Indian pipe fresh like this um, quite this late in the season, so it feels like a gift this one is just coming up out of the ground, and in fact, looking down at it, I see a little hook piece like this that shows the next one that's about to come up. What you can see coming right up out of the earth is just this part where the next pipe is about to come up. And it's Monotropa uniflora, una one flora flower, a one-flowered plant, very unusual in that it's got no chlorophyll, I've always had the feeling that where you find bunches of Indian pipes is sacred ground, perhaps ground where councils of people met in the past. And actually, I studied plants for probably two decades before I ever harvested Indian pipe for medicine. I always had the feeling this was a plant to go to and learn from. And only last year did I first harvest Indian pipe to make a tincture with that's excellent for relieving um, extreme pain. And so it's used sparingly, but when needed, it's a wonderful ally. And also, I want to say a little something about where it's growing. We're here with native rhododendrons, which are enormous in these woods. And we're here at the base of an oak tree. I'm not sure which species of oak, but um, Indian pipe likes to grow at the base of the oaks. Another name for Indian pipe is ghost pipe. And it actually reminds me of a corpse when I see this plant. So um, it also has a reputation Come on, stay by me. for. Come here. <laughs> ah, we have company. Come here. It also has a reputation for being a, a spirit ally plant, a plant for when you are walking between the worlds. I thought I heard somebody over there. Get off the path a little and see what's up here. Oh, here's witch hazel. Some people call witch hazel a tree, and some people call witch hazel a shrub. But whatever you call her, this is a valuable medicine plant. Even for a simple walk in the woods, um, you could pick a witch hazel leaf and either chew it up or rub it in your hands and break it up and put it on if you had cut yourself and you're bleeding. It will help stop bleeding very effectively. And witch hazel is one of my favorite wound herbs because of this. 
the leaves and the twigs of our friend witch hazel are anti-inflammatory, pain relieving, and helpful to stop bleeding. Witch hazel is tannin rich, so when you taste these leaves, you won't smile with quite the delight you did when you tasted the wintergreen. These will make you pucker up, and that lets you know that it's a good tannin rich astringent plant. And we use astringents often to help with wounds. I can show you a couple of things to help you identify this tree. If you look at where the leaf meets the twig, what you see is that the base of the leaf is uneven. It's asymmetrical. Well, one part is down here and one part is up there. That is actually a specific identifier for the witch hazel tree. Here's a great example. You can see the two, the pair of leaves. You can see the spiraling twig, right? This spiraling twig is one of the signatures for our friend witch hazel. And witch hazel also has great associations with water. So one thing that you will see is witch hazels or every part of witch hazel is very flexible. Wow, come look at this.